What's up guys? It is Bucket Mouth Bass back here again today and I just parked my truck guys in the parking lot of Dick's Sporting Goods guys. I'm going to start off by doing another $10 challenge guys. It's been a while since I've done one of these challenges. I'll leave a link to one of the other ones I did a while back but I'm super excited guys. I love these budget based challenges guys. I'm going to start doing other challenges too where it's not budget based but I don't want to give those away yet for y'all. And if y'all have any ideas or anything you want to see here on this channel, go down in the comments and let me know, guys. I will be happy uh, to take some ideas from y'all. But anyways, if you haven't subscribed, I do all kinds of fishing related videos here on this channel, guys. Hit the little subscribe button and the bell so you do not miss anything, guys. But enough of me talking. I will see y'all inside the store. what's up guys i am in the store now and the goal of today's challenge guys i gotta pick at least two to three baits of my choice guys and stay uh within ten dollars or less guys we'll see if we can keep the tax in there but i'm not too worried about the tax if i can keep the actual lure price before tax ten dollars or less guys so keep in mind if i pick a soft plastic i have to buy hooks and stuff for it so it makes it a little bit tougher but if i buy a crankbait obviously there's already hooks on there so we'll go over there right now i honestly have not been in dicks in a while guys i haven't bought fishing stuff here in like over a year at this point so who knows what they have but i'm gonna head over there right now all right guys so i'm over here in the hooks right now and as y'all can see most of the hooks are pretty expensive six bucks definitely not gonna work 2.99 could work but look at the size of those things guys those things look super small and wimpy i mean if i have to i will buy those but i'm hoping i can find something a little bit cheaper all the 199 and 129 stuff is is all gone or no, those are treble hooks guys these th those are in the wrong place all right y'all so just looking at the stuff they have here they do not have a lot of stuff in stock right now guys as y'all can see they're like moving stuff around so i think they're trying to clearance out stuff to order more product who, who knows guys i don't know but they do not have a lot of fishing stuff in stock so it's gonna make this challenge a little bit tougher but we're gonna figure it out as i was saying guys the good old clearance rack has made an appearance so a lot of this stuff looks like it's just been thrown over here but honestly i don't know what the deal is i think there's some uh tags pricing it obviously i'm not gonna buy baby dead baby shad this 247 but it's just a super chunk guys it's not even an actual lure i mean i guess i could try and catch some with this but i don't want to just be throwing jig trailers out there on a on a hook <laughs> like doesn't help me but got some hooks over here four bucks guys these are actually i actually like the vmc stuff this is a good price actually but that's a little bit pricey guys that's too much and then if i'm gonna go to the lake y'all top water's not gonna work and that's seven bucks eight bucks up here all right guys so these are all the soft plastic lures i have to choose from here this one aisle and look there's like a big missing section and all that stuff i can't afford most of this stuff they got the big bites two bucks may have to go with these but i'm gonna take a look over here at these zoom all of them are like four bucks guys that's way too much for a ten dollar challenge three bucks and i don't need that many that's a lot one aisle one tiny aisle worth of soft plastics so i'm gonna go over here guys but this is all they have guys that i can really afford and stay within the ten dollar budget this little section right here everything else is too much all right guys i have no clue if these are gonna work so i might just go ahead and pick out one of these so two bucks in now guys one bait 
Alright guys, my second choice is going to be these green pumpkin, uh, what are these called again? Grubs? Yeah, I almost forgot the name of them guys, so we're $4 in now. Alright guys, so I was going to buy some uh, offset worm hooks for these and some bullet weights, but the problem is they don't really have any offset worm hooks that I can afford for one and stay within the $10 budget and they don't have any bullet weights. Alright guys, so I'm back over here. I didn't want to buy nothing but soft plastics in one brand, but it looks like I'm going to have to guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out another one of these. Uh, I'm not too sure which one to get. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and go with whatever the heck these things are. These like curly tail worms here. So I got my three baits. Alright guys, so the only hooks that I'm going to be able to afford and get weights and keep it within the $10 budget are going to be these wacky jigs guys all right guys I'm back at the truck now and the whole time I was in there I had like a manager following me around and stuff so I had to be kind of quiet and on the down low and I had to wait for him to go away so I was in there like a half hour but I did stay under the budget guys I'm gonna show you all the receipt right now so you guys know I already got the three bags of soft plastic baits two bucks a piece then I got those hooks that were on sale guys for four dollars so my total before tax guys came out to 994 total with tax was 1076 but like I said at the beginning the tax doesn't really matter to me that much as long as the subtotal is 10 bucks or less so I am six cents within my ten dollar budget before tax guys so I did it even though there was barely anything in there I wish there was like some uh, crankbaits or something that were on sale but it's just like anything that was more than like two bucks I had to buy I had to eat the four dollars for the hooks there was nothing I could do about that so that was kind of annoying but now I'm gonna get to the lake and actually try and catch some fish for y'all guys but I gotta get home and get the boat all set up so I will see y'all at the lake what's up guys we are at the lake now it's super crowded today it is saturday i slept in so it's the next day after i actually went to the store but as y'all can see it's windy we are about to go pick a spot to actually fish guys i got three baits got to catch at least at least one fish on each bait guys so we're gonna get out there and we're gonna see what i can do guys but if you haven't already subscribed, I will be doing more challenges, so please go down, hit the subscribe button, but I will see y'all at our spot of choice. Alright guys, we are on the water as y'all can see. I'm gonna start by tying on one of these wacky jigs. That I could actually afford in the challenge. I'm surprised I could actually afford these though, because I mean, they are VMC. I like their stuff, obviously. So I'm gonna tie this on. I'm probably gonna go ahead and start with these golden colored, uh, like smaller Sankos. So we'll get back to y'all when I actually have this stuff tied on. All right, guys, here's what I'm gonna be starting off with the gold. And I was gonna Texas rig it all the way up to the actual weight itself but I decided to leave it down a little bit just to give it a little bit a uh, different presentation and this color is weird let me know if y'all have ever used this kind of like gold color with the black flake and stuff in it it looks pretty cool the fish have probably not seen this before and I'm using my scorpion DC and my carbon light which I pretty much only use at this point because I like this uh, Shimano DC reel so much I'll leave links the videos I have on both these down below for y'all all right guys I was not able to catch anything on the gold one so I'm gonna take a break from it and throw the purple with the blue flake curly tail worm guys I just got it Texas rigged on this wacky rig jig obviously that's those are the only hooks that I have so <laughs> go ahead and cast it in there guys hopefully I can catch something on this I will be going back to the gold Sanko but I want to see if this will work first, just to see if there is fish in the area. Oh my god. Alright guys, I definitely just had a bite. Oh my god. 
goodness, guys, I just missed another one. Oh, man, I saw him too in the water. First fish of the challenge. All right, guys, got him pretty deep down in the throat, in the top of the mouth. Felt big too, he like destroyed the bait. All right, guys, first fish of the challenge on the purple and blue curly tail not a big one at all but it is a fish let's go ahead and get a release on this guy there he goes all right guys we've been here for like over an hour already and that is the first fish we have caught so that completes it for the purple curly tail i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the green pumpkin grub now Let's see if I can catch something on this. All right, guys, got the grub tied on now. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but it's whatever. Hopefully I can catch something on it. The lighter colors have not really been working too great today. So this one's probably gonna be pretty tough, but I'm gonna get the first cast in with it. All right, here we go. Bait number two, I gotta catch a fish on it. I got two more baits to go, obviously. This guy is coming in the boat this time. There you go. Second fish of the day, guys. Finally caught a fish on the grub after missing one on it earlier. So happy, guys. A little bit bigger than the last one. Still not huge, obviously, but I do not really care right now. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get an underwater release on this guy. Second fish of the day. Completes the challenge for the stupid grub after I missed that one earlier. So now I got to catch one on the gold and Sanko guys after I release this little guy here. Thank you for biting sir. I appreciate you. Alright guys I got the grub off already. Got the stupid golden Sanko tied back on. The one that I could not catch anything on earlier. So, save the best one for last year. Caught one on the grub and the curly tail worm. So now I just gotta catch at least one on the gold Sanko to complete this challenge. Hopefully, hopefully something in the water is kind enough to bite. I mean, obviously not like a snake or something, but guys, I was just feeling something nibble on it. Oh my gosh. Something real small though. Come on guys. On the Senko. Get to the boat little buddy. Here he comes. Okay guys. Finally. On the stupid Senko. Here we go. Not a big guy, actually a tiny guy, but I do not care. Something is kind enough to bite today for me on the Golden Sanko. So thank you. Thank you, little buddy, for doing that for me. I appreciate it. But let's put this guy gently back into the water because he is the fish that completed the challenge for me today. So I am thanking this guy. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I'm putting you back nice and soft. There he goes. Third fish of the day.
What's up guys? We are back at the launch now. Completed the challenge, caught one fish on each bait guys super excited about that if y'all like this kind of video please let me know down in the comments and do not forget to hit that subscribe button helps me out a ton and the bell because you do not want to miss anything here on this channel guys but thank you so much for watching i did complete the challenge today happy about that but i will see y'all back here next time